today, DeAndre Somerville came to court on time. I end this letter with sincere apologies. The 21-year-old apologizing to the judge after he says he overslept, missing his first day serving on a jury. Somerville, who had never been arrested, now has a criminal record for contempt and spent 10 days in jail with hardened criminals. I saw people get beaten. The judge today explained the punishment. The critic's charge was over the top. Mr. Somerville was the only African-American on our jury and represented a very important cross-section of our community. In addition to 10 days he's already served, Somerville was given a year probation, 150 hours community service, and a fine. I accept your apology. If Somerville now completes only 30 hours of community service and speaks to prospective jurors on the importance of jury duty, the judge says he will vacate his initial contempt order. Glad it's over. Yeah, glad it's over. Somerville, who cares for his grandfather and works in an after-school program with kids, says he hopes he won't be judged for his one mistake. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, West Palm Beach, Florida. Yo, man, holla. What's up, man? Frankie Diamonds TV. Hit that like button always. This story actually isn't even new, but it's kind of new to me, so fuck it. So this kid, <laughs> as you see, got 10 days for jury duty. Now, when I first seen this on, like, Facebook, I'm thinking, okay, this is clickbait. This isn't fucking real. You gotta be shitting me. I've seen people get less for worse. You know, and I'm like, what happened to those parents uh, a year ago or earlier this year that were uh, the college scam when they were, you know, getting their kids and in, in faking SAT scores and shit? What happened to it? We've seen so many worse cases with less punishment. And this is a 21 year old kid. Well, he's a grown man, but takes care of his grandfather. And these motherfuckers threw him in jail for 10 days and got probation. Now, recently they cleared his record, but still, I mean, this is ridiculous. You know, I, it wasn't a DUI. It wasn't anyone at risk. The boy overslept. And I could tell you from experience, ju jury duty is one of the biggest wastes of time. I don't care if people say it's a, it's a duty, it's an honor as a civilian. Jury duty is bullshit. I wish you would fucking throw me in jail for fucking jury duty. And, oh, it, he was the, the only African-American nonsense. Nonsense. I mean, this is this is getting out of hand. And at first I thought it was funny because I thought it was fake. But when I'm looking at it and he give him credit for being uh, uh, cordial about it. And he, he apologized to the judge. I couldn't apologize to the judge. I'd have been like, man, fuck you. You took 10 days out of my life for oversleeping. And the judge says that, oh, he, he postponed the trial 45 minutes and the kid still didn't make it on time. I'm like, really? So now niggas are scared to go to jury duty because if you oversleep, apparently you'll get 10 days. This is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Not surprised by the racism here at all. And I haven't even gotten to the fact, the fact that I've never seen anybody white, you know, get punished like this for something. I mean, I've seen people get less time for way worse, you know. And in the wake of Amber Geyer uh, only getting 10 years for mass, for, you know, for, for murdering somebody, this kid got 10 days for oversleeping jury. This is fucking crazy. This is America, though. You know, I guess so, man. <laughs> this is fucking nuts, man. Let me know what y'all think, man, in the comments. I'm out.